thought they, you know, one made their free throws down the stretch, <clears throat> 16 to 18. That's gave you know gave let them close it out, and we we're hoping they give us one back there to try to be in another one possession situation after that side out situation we had down three. But they not stepped up and knocked them down. They kicked our butts on the board. That's two times we've gotten beat on the board, and I'm frustrated with that. Uh, I think that's something we should be doing to other people, and they kicked our tails. And uh, I'm not pleased with that. Uh, I didn't think we played our best basketball. I'm disappointed that we'd have found a way to win the game. It's a one or two possession game there at the end. If we'd have found a way to win, I'd have been happy and proud that we found a way. But I'd have still stood up here and told you that I'm disappointed in how we play, how we perform. And I am. Uh, I think uh, we, we, we've, for some reason, we've had better attitude, approach, effort than we've all year than we've had today, and I'm not sure why. Uh, we don't have time to dwell. I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm sure our players are. We don't have time to dwell. Uh, this is this league. You got to respond. Uh, you have to get right back to work. You don't have time to put your head down and pow. You better figure out how to learn, grow, and get ready for the next game. You know, with a quick turnaround against uh, third, second, third ranked team in the country, whatever they are, uh, we, we got to do that quickly. But we had a lot of guys that I don't think had their best night. Um, you know, I have to go back and watch the tape and really try to break down what happened. But uh, I, th I think is, you know, you, you sit there and it's still a one or two possession game there at the end, and you're going to look down and feel like, you know, it's a tough night for a lot of guys not to have a night. Uh, Man, it's been tough. Uh... But like, it's what we signed up for. You know, the guys coming in, they came here because they wanted that challenge of being in the Big 12 and having, you know, great having to face great opponents every night. Every night. Um, and truth be told, it's made me like a better person because you know, you can't, like Coach West said earlier, like you can't dwell on you know today. You know, let it hurt a little bit, but and learn from it. But every night, even when off nights when you're not playing, you got to prepare. Um, you gotta prepare your body, your mind, uh, make sure the game stands sharp. So it's just the nature of our league. Like it's gonna be bangers every night. So you gotta be ready and prepare yourself. They're as good as I saw them on the film. They are everything and more physicality. You know, and I know this is the first year in the Big 12. You'd think they've been in there forever, the physicality. Um, but we just, we just we try to be relentless and go after it. You try to box them out, but they, they keep coming. And it was just a pursuit. We're just trying to pursue. We, I know they got some, and they got a lot early. Um, but um, you know, I, I, for our guys, we were just absolutely trying to do whatever we can do to go get two hands on the ball. You know, pursued it out, out to in rebounds on their three, and then try to try to really get into the box out, and then pursue it. Phenomenal. They were they were loud. They were in it the whole time. It was it was uh, they were in it from the jump. They were from in it from the jump. Great atmosphere. It seemed like they were right there. It seemed like there were students everywhere. Um, but. Uh, Great atmosphere. I, think I would, I would, especially four for four down the stretch. And here was the other key. Those are even bigger because they weren't two shot bonuses. The, the, those, we went four for four. Those first one, knocking those first ones down, those are one on one. And those were, our, we call them our second shift guys. And that's why I think, you know, I think we're having some success because we come off the bench with guys that have started in other leagues. You know, Aziz and Latre were uh, teammates at Utah Valley. You know, Rivaldo Sora started Oregon. John started at Pitt. And uh, they all, to, to, you know, Rivaldo and Latre to make those big shots, and they were one on ones with that atmosphere. So, huge, huge clutch free throws that they, those got those two made down the stretch.